Hey everyone, this is a review of Portal 2 Blue Vortex Chapter 6, and honestly this was an amazing chapter. We find out that Shikamaru has his doubts over his memories, and I know that this is a continuation from last chapter on Amadou's theory about his memories maybe being tampered with, but I like that we're seeing other key figures like Shikamaru being open-minded to the idea that things aren't as they appear. And another important note that I noticed in Chapter 6 is that Shikamaru hasn't accepted the official title of Hokage as the two elders mentioned. And I feel like one of the reasons maybe Shikamaru hasn't um, accepted it is because he still feels that there's a chance Naruto's still alive and out there somewhere. And that by not accepting the role of Hokage officially, Shikamaru can continue doing Naruto's work and keeping the seat warm until Naruto returns someday. I know it might be a corny take or sound too idealistic, but I think Shikamaru is really close to Naruto as a friend and believes in Naruto and his vision, which is probably why um, there hasn't been a need to have Kakashi return as Hokage or someone else entirely. Another thing we learn about this chapter is that Shikamaru um, talking to um, Boruto via Ino's Jutsu and sharing his thoughts and how um, Shikamaru is willing to work with him. Boruto doesn't get a, um, a chance to really respond because Mitsuki is hell bent on fighting Boruto. And I mentioned this in a previous video, but the reason I believe Mitsuki is angry at Boruto is because he believes Boruto is um, the ungrateful kid that Naruto brought to the village um, to live with the Uzumaki families, which is also the family of his best friend. Kawaki Uzumaki, even though as an audience we all know the truth, um, the reason I make this emphasis is because since Miski is a clone or an artificial life form in comparison to other human beings, he sees Kawaki as a symbol and a role model of what a human being is, and in his eyes he sees Boruto as the reason why his son and guiding light um, Kawaki is in pain, which for us as an audience who know the truth, um, it's pretty sad, but at the same time it shows Miski's loyalty. And like Damon mentioned, if Kawaki's lies were to be exposed, I wonder how Mitsuki would react to knowing he spent three years with the guy who caused so much pain for everyone, including himself. All in all, this was an epic chapter and a chapter full of important dialogue and information. Seeing Sarada all flustered over hugging Boruto I thought was funny and it seems pretty clear where Sarada's heart lies. And lastly, I think what makes Boruto 2 Blue Vortex so good is that the story is being told through Boruto's point of view and it flows smoothly. Not to say that part 1 Boruto was lacking in plot or characters, it's just that the story shifted from Boruto to Kawaki and for the longest it felt like we saw through Kawaki's eyes. And now the story feels like it's in the middle and so far it's coming out really great. I would love to hear what you guys think about the chapter, do you guys like it, dislike it? Please share your thoughts and opinions, leave a like and subscribe and enjoy the rest of your day.